Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 16th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to wrap up our discussion on background properties in CSS. So for this tutorial, what I've done is I have uh, copied some text of Argentina's Wikipedia page. So, you know, this is some stuff about the country, you know, the landmass and a little bit of text about the country's history. So I've just copied and pasted that text uh, within paragraph tags in the body section and of course I've also got an h1 level heading within the body uh, of the document that has the text Argentina so within the style section I have two new properties uh, stuff that we are going to encounter for the first time in the course uh, one is background attachment and the other one is background size so I have uh, included an image which is Argentina's flag and uh, I'll show you you know how the image looks so this is Argentina's flag and uh, I am going to have it as a background for my web page so when I open the file in uh, Google Chrome I see that the flag doesn't completely cover the web page so if you want this flag to completely uh, you know uh, cover the web page then what you'll have to do is you'll have to use the background size property and mention the size of the image uh, in inches you know the height as well as the width so let's say you want to have 15 inches as the height and 15 inches as the width you'll have to type in 15 in twice and you'll also have to give a space in between so when I save the file now and refresh it in my browser I see that it completely covers the web page in fact it's slightly bigger so you could you know maybe use a smaller number there and uh, the next property that we're going to check out is the background attachment property so if you look at the web page you know as I'm scrolling down the image is moving along with the text right so I'm able to see the text at the bottom of the page but as I scroll down I see that the flag is also moving up so in case you want the flag to remain fixed and uh, you want only the text to move on the web page then what you could do is for the background attachment property you could give a value of fixed so I'll type in fixed here save the file and when I refresh it in the browser and now when I scroll down I see that the text is actually moving up while the image stays in a fixed position so by default the behavior for this property is set to scroll so, you know so if you do not mention a value here or if you mention the value scroll it's going to behave in the same way make sure the file is saved and when I refresh it in the browser you know you can see that the image is moving with the text but if I want it to stay fixed then I'll have to type in fixed here and when I refresh the page now and scroll I see that you know the text is moving while the image stays fixed so you could play around with the you know the value for the size or you know depending upon your requirements you could have uh, a fixed or scroll value for the background attachment property that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which uh, we'll continue our discussion on CSS maybe you know check out few font properties uh, you know that's what a lot of people get excited about so I hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you soon till then take care